Welcome to this module on the strategic options that are available to organizations. In this particular module, we have a series of lectures that will describe how an organization can make, take action in order to improve its strategic positioning. This, of course, makes the assumption that the organization has done an analysis of its external environment, understands what competitors are doing, what the, con what the conditions in the marketplace, in the ecosystem are under which they have to compete, and then also has done an internal assessment of its own resources and capabilities so it understands how it might position its own strengths against the marketplace, two areas where there are opportunities, and also how to avoid some weaknesses or to minimize some weaknesses and overcome some threats. Once the analysis about the situation, situational awareness, has been done, then the organization next tries to understand how, what actions it can take and how it can structure those actions in a way that can move the organization forward. That's what this discussion will be about. This particular, le particular lecture is about the, an overview of how those options take shape. To start with, there are, for example, some offensive options that can be made, can be taken. In other words, moving into new marketplaces or trying to take market share. Things where one would like it was some sort of a battlefield or whatever. Actually take some specific actions in an, with the intent of improving, increasing its competitive position. Or take defensive actions, which might allow it to, pre pre to uh, mitigate some of its weaknesses, uh, make, uh, make competitors less likely to come up with plans to try and take offensive against them, and other types of defensive positioning. The other thing that ke to keep in mind is that the actions that are taken, timing does matter. Sometimes it's better to be the first person to take a market or enter a marketplace. Sometimes it's better to lay back and wait and then find out what works and then imitate the successful organizations. And we'll talk about when first mover is an advantage, when it isn't, when sometimes it's better to sit back and wait and be the second mover, but just do it better and bigger. And then the last thing we'll talk about is the scope of operations and how indeed an organization can decide how big to be how widely to play in the market geographically or with products or whatever, and also in terms of the value chain, how much scope the organization wants to put within its own organization and what it might want to identify or work with others in partnership. When we finish this lecture is when this series of lectures is when you might want to go on the defensive, I mean excuse me, on the offensive and take space, improve market share, whatever when you might want to develop and what sorts of defensive strategies might be available to, to maintain one's position, how to move, when to move, and under what conditions one waits and what condition one takes the, um, takes the advantage first. Also, different types of partnerships, merging, acquisitions, those kinds of things. When you think about the value chain, when it might make sense to strategically improve one's position by backward integrating, in bringing the suppliers into the organization and integrating backwards in the chain or forwards into the distribution channels and potentially into retail space when a manufacturer opens a retail outlet, for example. Also, we'll talk about the value chain activities and which ones might make sense to bring in-house and which ones not, and then what to outsource and what not, potentially. And lastly, and probably the most uh, active area in strategic uh, in the strategic management uh, arena is around partnerships, acquisitions, joint ventures, uh, different kinds of strategic alliances that can put people into, put organizations into the position that they determine maximizes their long-term sustainability and growth prospects for themselves, for their shareholders, for all these stakeholders that are involved. We'll talk about all of these items in various lectures to follow. Next time we'll talk about, in the next lecture, we'll talk about offensive actions and when these make sense to take the offensive.